What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here taking another look at Smite today, focusing on the new god Cupid. Yep, I shoot hearts. <laughs> this is not a joke, this is for cereal. We are going to be playing as Cupid today. A new god added to the Smite beta and uh, looks like I'm going left lane here with Art. So we're going to have two, uh, two ranged people. So it's pretty interesting. I am a ranged assassin who also has supportive abilities. My passive is Love Struck. Every time I hit with my basic attack, uh, it gives a 3% buff to the damage or healing of the next ability I, I hit with. However, the stack's up to 10 times, and if it reaches 10 stacks, then my next Heart Bomb or Fields of Love will also stun the enemy when, when they explode. So, what exactly does that mean? Well, let's start off with the number one ability, Heart Bomb. This is a ranged attack that does damage upon hitting the target and also slows them by 35%. Then after three seconds, the heart explodes, doing that same amount of damage as the initial hit, and also damaging enemies within a radius of that person. So, it goes from a single target hit to a explosion that does area of effect damage. My number two ability... Oh, we're against uh, Cupid in this lane as well. Interesting. My number two ability here... Let's uh, go ahead and... Oh, I missed. Um... The number two ability right here is Share the Love. This places three hearts on the ground that heal myself or my allies, depending on who picked them up. So three hearts get placed on the ground. I can pick them up, so can my allies. And uh, whoever picks it up, it heals them. However, if an ally picks it up, I don't get healed, but I do get mana back from it. So there's actually it's actually good if, uh, if I've got an ally who happens to pick it up. It actually benefits me as well. Even though I don't get the healing, I do get mana from it. And later on, I felt that... I, I've, I've noticed that that's what I use it for a lot of times, is actually healing my allies over myself, especially when I get uh, life gain on hit. Once I get that, then um, most of my healing, except for obviously in the, in the midst of combat, but once I get that, most of my healing comes from just attacking creeps, so... Alright, so uh, I'm actually interested in pushing soon. Um, what I'm going to do, get this here. Okay, so, oh boy, almost got the kill. Did you see that? See how low he is right now? Damn, one more shot would have done it. It's a bummer that we didn't get it. Oh well, at the very least we pushed him out of lane. Do they have a full five? Ooh, they're Guan Yu's level one. Looks like they've got someone AFK. I was wondering where the other person in our who was supposed to be in our lane is. Hmm. Yeah, all right. So notice that little uh, secondary explosion there. You gotta love that. Now I'm gonna pick up my heal. So place hearts on the ground. I can pick them up to heal myself. If an ally picks it up, I get mana from it. Plain and simple. Uh, the number three ability is Flutter. This charges me forward, leaving a path on the ground. Also, after I do it, my attack speed is increased. I get a temporary attack speed buff. However, my allies can also... Oh my gosh, that is embarrassing that I missed that. Oh well, let me pull back here. All right, and I'll place down another one in a few moments. And he's dead. Look at that. Get those hearts. Get them quick. Get them. Get them. Okay. All right. They don't. They only last for so long. Um, I just picked up my ultimate now, which is. Fields of Love is the name of the ability. Pretty interesting. It's a uh, area, area of effect ability. And anyone who gets hit by it is slowed. Also, uh, there are hearts that explode after a certain amount of time doing damage. All right, so I wonder if, okay. Be careful here. He's level 5 too, so he could drop his fields of love on me at any moment. Enemy missing metal. 
Now what will be good is if we can get a stun here from Art. If we can get a stun from Art, I can place down my ultimate, and that's probably going to result in a kill. Most likely. No, no ultimate. Weird. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why I didn't Art didn't use her ult there because definitely could have for the kill. See if I can get the 10 stacks here. Maybe we'll get a uh, stun off on this dude. There's the kill. All right. Going back. Hey, Hades almost got me there. It was really close. All right, so we're gonna go with Fatalis next, and then uh, I think after that, Soul Eater. Your right tower is under attack. I think that that will be a good thing to do. And what are we at now? Two kills, zero deaths. Beautiful. Got three pushing left right now, though. How is Art doing? Doing all right, Art? some hearts there An ally has been slain. all right gonna need a little, little assistance over here Got the kill on Raw. Not quite. Alright, let's go with uh, this right here. I can't afford it quite yet, though. How's my team doing overall? Not bad. Ebo almost killed a Cupid. Oh. He's continuing to chase there. We're at 4 and 6, which isn't great, but it's not that bad. Uh, they haven't killed any of our towers, and we did get the left one, so that's uh, that's a good thing. Good on us there. And let's go and push this line. So pretty interesting character. Hopefully uh, I don't die again. That'd be good. I would prefer not to. Okay. Got my stun now available. An ally and, has um, been where did Art go? That we just just saw Art over there. Does Hebo have Art in his grasps? No. Yeah. All right. Oh wow, we have their middle tower too. I didn't even realize. Hmm. Well, this is pretty interesting. And uh, Hades is extending a wee bit far there, trying to get our tower. And I, I, I fear for his life. I think he might die here. <laughs> get out of that damage. And there we go. Lol. Beautiful. So my ultimate did a lot of damage and then uh, was able to finish him off there. 
bad I didn't get those kills, but it's all right. Get them hearts, guys. Fine by me. There you go. Come on, pick up your hearts. Pick up your hearts. Come on. No one, no one's gonna do that. All right, whatever. I hate you guys. Oh. <laughs> no one else is picking up the hearts. What the heck, guys? You can get these. They're they're yours to get. They're yours. They, nobody knows what my god does, do they? Not a single person. I think we should probably go back now, though. Your right tower is under I mean, attack. your middle tower is under attack. Oh. Go help over here, Hebo. He's got Guan Yu up his rear here. That's annoying to deal with. Oh, it looks like he's got no problem though. Jeez. <laughs> Hebo's just over here beasting Guan Yu. Doesn't need an assist. I'm gonna go back, get some items here. Alright, so we're gonna get this, and then with that, also gonna pick up the Soul Eater. Wanna get this up there. Um, it's gonna help a ton. Well, uh, it's actually looking good. I, I really thought uh, for a moment there that my team was doing poorly, but it looks like uh, we're doing pretty well here. And Cupid is an interesting god. It's really interesting. I really wish that people started picking up the hearts. I think maybe they just assume that it's for me or they don't know. <clears throat> Let me see. You can grab the hearts I drop, FYI, for heals. Just because some people weren't picking them up, so I don't know if people realize that. But I mean, I, I understand the notion that someone wouldn't want to selfishly grab something that they think I'm trying to pick up. You know what I mean? Like that, I get. I get if that's what's occurring, then that's cool. But um, I don't. All right. There it is. Lol. Get rocked. <laughs> oh, Guan Yu. Why you keep getting owned? Also, I want them to pick it up because I get mana. So, them picking up the hearts helps me. Tremendously. What do they got dead? They got pretty much no one dead. This is silly for us to be here. It's really silly for us to be here, so let's uh, let's not be here. And let's stay here, though. Even though I just said let's not be here, let's actually stay here and go for them ganks. Yeah. No, Hebo went back. All right. Let's go help. Let's see if we can see if we got anything going on mid. No one. Oh, there's someone. What am I talking about? She is dead. She is super dead. Oh, wow. Wow. Super dead. That's that's more than that's more than normal dead. In case you were wondering. No, do I need to go back? No. The guy's getting beasted over here. Can I help him? Oh my gosh, wow. An enemy has been slain. Oh, too bad I wasn't An there for that. Too bad I wasn't there for the assist. I definitely need to pull back at the moment though. And uh, yeah, okay, all right. Starting to get the hang of this Cupid thing. I think I'm figuring it out. 950 for that right there, so. That's going to have to wait a minute. And Cupid is pushing mid. So let's see if I can take him out. Your middle tower is under attack. 
I'm surprised he isn't at the mid tower. Hmm, really weird. A little odd, a little odd. Because I swear I just saw him in mid, but. Oh, there we go. He's coming uh, the backside. Now. Gosh darn it. That was really close. Okay, interesting little exchange there. Whew. There you go, there you go, pick it up, yep. Hmm, this is interesting. I don't really have much right now, my ultimate's not ready, but we got Hebo coming, so let's do this. I'm dead. Uh, my uh, my escape was on cooldown, and without any CC breaker, that killed me. Well, shucks. Still pretty good though. Four, two, and five so far. Let's take a look over here. I don't think I can get the final level of this yet. Nope. Pretty close though. And once I get the final level of this one, my next thing is going to be to pick up the uh, purification beads. Uh, that what we just saw is a perfect example. Like I would have lived there had that not happened. Um, had I had the pur purification beads, I would have lived in that particular instance that you saw there, so. And wow, look at that. Agni can, Agni can dump so much damage so quickly. It is absurd. I'm just gonna chill out here for a minute just to get my 950. I know this is super exciting to watch, but luckily I'm super close, so. There it is. Okay, well, beautiful. Let's uh, let's take a survey of the landscape here, at the mini map. Uh, maybe middle lane will be a good place for me to assist here. Either way, I think I'm gonna chill out in the jungle. Wow, Agni's at level 17. Holy heck! I guess 11 kills will do that for you, huh? Gee, bro. We got two mid. Which, I don't know, I think we should try to stop them from getting our tower or something, right? I mean, you know? Team, anything? Oh well. Nothing doing there. Oh, there's Hebo. Hebo for the win. Gets the kill. An enemy has been slain. And, oh, let's go uh, over here, take out Guan Yu. And now my team is definitely uh, beasting pretty hard here. Okay, let's see here. Guan Yu, did you pull back home yet? Wouldn't be surprised if he did. He was pretty low health. Yeah, he must have. All right. Whatever. So my next course of action is the purification beads, like I just uh, like I just mentioned earlier. I'm gonna push this lane a little bit. Uh, they're worried about left tower, which I certainly understand. Let me though grab this guy, group them up, and get that. And yes, I get it. Left lane. I get it. I get you. I gotta figure it out here. Did a bit of damage to that tower. Almost killed it off, actually. Jeez. Pick up the beads. And we'll go from there in the future. And let's try to go help mid here. 
really quick. Double kill. An enemy has been slain. Ooh, here we go. Look at all these shenanigans here. An ally. Dead. Super dead. Super, super dead. He's dead. Whoa! <laughs> what? Triple kill. No, that didn't just happen. You didn't... You didn't just see that happen, did you? Did that really just... Did you just... Did anyone see that happen? Or... <laughs> Holy crap. Now... Still gotta be careful, though. Because, uh... They got only, they got only, uh, they got only two alive right now. Yeah, two up. He's going back. Yep. I agree. I agree. Go back and time for some more items. Now we got that. The suggested items. Are, I'm su surprised they're usually kind of bad, but they're actually pretty good here. Let's go with the Devourer's Glove. Um, they're actually suggesting stuff that seems like it's good, you know? Um, and Hebo is going to... Oh, almost took right tower. He's close there. But Guan Yu showed up at the last second. Looks like Hebo's porting back to shop. Let's see here. If we can uh, help take out Agni. Oh god, this Agni is dead. I'm pretty sure here. Oh my gosh. Get the heck out of here. Really gotta be careful. An ally has been slain. No, you need to, yeah, you need to not be there. It's, uh, it's a little too close for comfort, unfortunately. Yeah, gosh, this is not going well. Definitely should not have stayed there so long. Middle tower is super dead. Well, hmm. I need to stay here for a minute, help middle. They're just gonna take our tower, guys. So, let's do something about that, huh? Guan Yu's taking right tower now. I really can't do anything here, though, so... I'm gonna go back. Mana up. And then move out. Alright, let's see if we can get some kills here now, guys. Uh, my ultimate's down, but... Still do some damage. Middle tower still up. An ally has been slain. Gosh, this is not going well. Mmm. Left Phoenix gone. Great. That's uh that's that's a good thing. Ultimate's almost ready. Then I'll be happy to I'll be happy to hit them at that point. Come on. Get him. There it is. Sorry I wasn't talking there, but 
a little focused on owning some nubs. I was just focused on owning some nubs. I'm sure you guys accept my apology. All right, good. Um, I guess we should probably try to push right side a little bit further. They've got two dead right now, so. Man, these freaking people need to start picking up my hearts. <laughs> you know what I need? I don't understand why I don't have the slow. That's the next thing I need to get. Uh, my, my hit slow people. The uh, frost weapon, whatever. The middle Phoenix gone. And, uh, oh, we got two of the phoenixes down. Looks like we're just, want, they want to start poking and prodding here. Yeah. I don't know, I think we should be careful, but that's just me. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Okay, so the next one I want to pick up is um, I'm actually going to get the mana thing here. The mana heal. And then we're going to go with uh, the Frost Brand Hammer next. Well, that engagement didn't go that well. I don't know. Mm. All right, let's see. We got Agni and Hebo. Hebo just went back to town. Uh, looks like we might try to get a gank on right lane. I'm guessing they're just trying to push against the lane without a tower here. So if we can get, if we can get this, that'd be good. Some hearts for you, Agni. Bunch of them middle. They are all up right now. So I'm guessing they're all middle. So we gotta we gotta be careful. So yeah, I don't know about this. Alright. One down. I'm, I'm more a lot more confident when they have when uh, one of them's down. I'm a lot more confident with that. There it is. Stunned him. Ooh, wasn't enough to save him. third death but I feel like I feel like I've died more than that I can't believe that's only my third death that was a pretty bad one though all right so we're gonna go for the uh, frost one next so that I can get some slows on my attacks I don't know that that's the only one but I think it is so You gotta get out of there. They got four up. It would have been so easy for her to just uh, hit the push from behind. All right, so let's uh, let's uh, gather ourselves here. Uh, we had a very strong advantage, and all of a sudden, I feel like that advantage is just slipping through our hands here, and that. 
We aren't even going to necessarily win this. We're about to lose the middle tower. There it goes. There goes middle tower. Get a couple of these. All right, guys. We got to, uh, yeah. We got to do. We got to do something here. We got to smarten up a little bit. All five of them are up. I'm assuming they're together. Nope. It looks like they're spread out a bit. I mean, is now a good time to get Fire Giant? No. I'll wait till some of them are dead, maybe. I don't know when the best time to get Fire Giant is. Please let me know in the comment section below. When should we get Fire Giant? Wait till a couple of them are dead. Just go for it. Yeah, what's the deal? He's able to save his life, but... All right, let's go, Fire Giant, now. Now's the time. Better hurry this up, because they're coming. Guarantee it. Okay. Well, that helps a lot. Uh, well, we're gonna make a decision here. There's a death. An enemy has been One down. And another down. Yeah. Gets away. Let him go in front. He's got his charge. Alright, well, we get the Phoenix at least. And we should probably get the other two. want to get these other two phoenixes. Back it up, pick up the heart or something, please. Whew. All right, well, we got the Phoenix, so that's pretty, that's pretty much the biggest thing. Right? Oh, boy. There's a stun, and a kill. Nice! Art, get the hell out of there, please. I don't know why you keep staying in these ridiculous situations that aren't good for you. Alright, they're down to one, which is Art.
come here. Come here, help. Help with this, thank you. There's the kill. Where, where did he go? Thank you, it was right there. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? All right, well, here's the win. Our creep's even gonna kill the Minotaur. Good game. Good game indeed. All right, guys, well, awesome. Thank you so much for watching. This was a pretty solid game. Ended up as 11, three and 11 as the new God Cupid. And I'm, I don't know, I'm still kind of confused. <laughs> still a little bit confused as to what this, and holy hell messages, guys, come on. I love you, but it's ridiculous. All right, guys, so let's uh, go ahead and quickly pull back and take a look <laughs> at Cupid's abilities. All right, so back here into gods, newly added god Cupid. There he is. All right, base stats here for Mr. Cupid. And here are the abilities, the passive. So once again, how this works is my basic attacks, uh, they give me a 3% buff to the damage or healing on my next ability. I get it to 10 stacks, then the next heart bomb, which is my number one projectile that explodes, or fields of love, which is my ultimate that has exploding hearts, will stun enemies for one second when they explode. Number one ability is the heart bomb. That is the projectile that hits for physical damage, explodes after three seconds for AOE physical damage, and again, will stun with 10 stacks of that passive. Number two ability, share the love. Three hearts on the ground that heal myself or allies, whoever picks them up. If my allies pick it up, I get mana as a result. Number four ability, number three ability, flutter. Uh, flutter is the charge forward. Allies within the field that is left get their movement speed increased by 35%. Also, I get an attack speed increase for four seconds after fluttering. Really awesome for chasing people down. And obviously a good uh, escape mechanism as well. And then lastly, Fields of Love, the ultimate. This drops down the area of effect, slows enemies by 35% within it, and then hearts explode, doing pretty massive damage. Um, and you can see enemies caught within the radius are also mesmerized for three seconds. That's the other key thing that I forgot to mention. Uh, so if you're caught within the... It's like a... Uh, Oh god, like sort of like an incapacitate, but if they get hit, it breaks the effect. So obviously that's pretty awesome as well. And that was a look at Cupid, the newly added god to smite. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned in the future for some more videos covering smite. We still have got to do hell, and I do believe uh, Vana, uh, Va 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 Vamana, Vamana and hell, I believe, are the only two that we haven't done yet. And then obviously future gods as they come out. Thanks again, guys. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning.